Give it a little bit of punch here. Yeah, it goes. It's got some good power. It's not slow by any means. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Peter's Auto Block. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Today, I'm very excited because we're gonna get behind the wheel for the very first time of this 11th generation Honda Civic. Now, before we go on, guys, wanna make a big shout out to Barto Ford for allowing me some time with this Honda Civic hatchback. Uh, big thank you to wow. them and Tim. So here we have a 2022 way. Honda Civic hatchback support touring, which is basically the top trim for the Honda Civic. This one we have with us here is done in a sunny gray pearl, which is a fantastic looking color. This is really, really nice. It really pops out well in the sun. As you can see now, the sun's coming out again. So this one here, you guys, is basically the Sonic Gray Pro, which I did also in the Cord 2 liter out that I reviewed as well in the same color. It really looks fantastic in the sedans. I really love what Honda has done in this new 11th generation. So we the design and everything as well. Really, really cool. Now this one that we have with us, guys, here, it is a slightly used model. It is a 2022, but with about 31,000 miles. Then they're asking just about $33,000 for this used sedan. Obviously, I mean, there, it's a small hatchback. They don't, I mean, there's not a lot of them, but it seems a little bit, bit prior priced but nonetheless it's a very good looking sedan especially in the sonic gray pro this one has of course been the turn it's got the black leather interior this one has got the 18 inch wheels as you can see here this is the top trim turning wheels so about the 18 inch wheels with a bit of black and, and aluminum and these are wrapped around 235 millimeter continental conti, conti, conti pro i think all season tires love the design of this honda civic as you can see guys we got the turn signals integrated into the side mirrors as well here with a bit of body color painted mirrors really really nice so you can see this one's got the sunroof as well it got the sunroof tilted really really nice as well what all the civic all the design of the civic what honda did really love the, this this the hatchback design of course you can also get the sedan as well of course with the trunk this has got the hatchback of course you can rest this whole thing up like a hatch but i uh, really prefer the looks of this hatchback so coming over here guys in the back as you can see really nice what honda has done it's got a kind of dual exhaust up here in the back we got a bit of aluminum a bit of a plastic cover here in the bottom like a little bit of diffuser really nice design what it has done it's kind of got a little lip spray that honda designed into that along with a rear wiper as you can see this one's got blacked out honda badging as well so really really like really love the way this is designed very compact sedan very small and this of course got aftermarket window tint as you can see it being a used slightly so used car really just checking out the front here as you can see we got all this led lighting as well for daytime right that's not on right now but we have led headlights led fog this as well here as you can see a bit of plastic here in the front of the design but overall really nice design to the honda civic which i really love it's kind of like a mini accord considering the older accord which i like which i like a little bit better but it's still a really nice slick design for this kind of starter or base you know sedans from honda Okay, so here we got the key as you can see kind of more basic kind of key we got open close we got hold for a i believe this is auto auto start or basically remote starting and of course we got the hatchback as well as you can see the lights coming on here let's go ahead i don't think this opens i try to open it automatically but it does not open but let's go ahead and open up the hatchback so as you can see guys here we had a reverse camera so we got about 14 cubic feet of space here for the side it's really easy to put things in here of course you can lay the seats down and have a lot more space so as you can see we got some of the formats here that's quite included with this here as well and we got another little cover and if we raise this up looks like we have also a spare tire here underneath which is really awesome to have not more space here to put any other stuff but it's got pretty good room this is kind of sits low as well though the floor is a little lower so you can put a little more boxes in or stuff like that we also have a little bit of a cover here as well which you can easily just cover things up as well for for protection especially nowadays but a really cool sedan i love the way this kind of is very really practical i think this is a really much more practical than this than the sedan of course but uh that's my personal opinion but really nice because you see we got the black letter on this one no types of any connections or anything like that here no 12 volt or anything like that but we have do have a a speaker here a subwoofer part of the uh i think it's a 12 speaker bow system that, that this honda civic has so very nice really nice plenty of interior i think space for a honda civic and especially in this hatchback version so let's go ahead guys and put this down and uh close this up all right really coming here to the hood of the civic you're gonna pop the latch here a little bit here it's a little hot we're gonna pop the hood and open get the little stick here because we got no 
basically no assistance or hydraulic assistance on this one here being of course a base sedan so here we have the 1.5 liter inline four turbocharged vtec engine this is producing 180 horsepower 177 pound feet of torque of course going through a cvt transmission continuing the variable transmission uh, there is a six-speed manual available but only in the hatchback obviously the sedan does not get the six-speed only a six-speed in the hatchback of course and also on the si and the type r as well now of course the other engine option you can get is the base engine which is a two liter normally aspirated inline four as well with about 158 horsepower those so, so those are basically the two engines that you can get on this honda civic well of course we also have a third option which is the honda civic type r engine that's a 300 horsepower plus in lane 4 turbo as well let's go and drop the hood and get inside put the little stick back in its place and drop the hood all right let's go and take a look at this interior of this honda civic now considering this is the top of the line touring model here of course we got black leather on the seats really really nice now not a huge leather for here especially for the weather since this type of hot leather will burn your bonds up but it's very very nice as well so you can see guys here in the door we get a bit of soft leather here as well for the armrest we got our controls here we got a bit of trim here kind of a plastic uh trim which really really looks nice we got a black piano trim here and you can see really nice i mean that's all of course you got some black plastic as well i mean some hard plastics and that's considered of course this is a base sedan or a starter sedan but it's very right and well nicely done let's go ahead guys and now get inside so you can check out the room now jumping into this civic it's got pretty good size room obviously this is right about where somebody will be sitting and i still got a couple of inches left here for a new room i'm about 5 11 so as you can see it's really really nice back here uh, a little bit tight in the headroom but it's not bad at all i love that the headliner is black that way it doesn't get dark as you can see this we got some scratches considering this is a used one it's not bad at all because obviously if this was gray or light beige like considering like uh, one of the cars i owned this gets dark this is gets pretty uh pretty dirty pretty easy but it's really really nice you can see now of course you're coming down here as you can see we got plenty of space here we got also our center armrest that comes down here with a couple of cup holders we got at least some extra windows here in the back we can grab, grab handles here uh down here we have no ac outlets but we do have a couple of usb connections at least to connect your phone and uh, overall it's not bad at all as you can see here we have the redesign of this 11th generation civic here the interior is really really nice as you can see we got the sunroof here and uh overall excellent interior for this uh, honda civic the seats feel really nice and quality and uh, overall very nice considering this is basically you know a, your base kind of civic sedan so or base starter sedan not, not, not the not the base version but obviously considering this is you know a small uh you know basically you know economic sedan or you call it economy car so all right let's go ahead and guess and uh, get in front all right let's go ahead and check out the interior of this honda civic on the driver's side so as you can see guys you're coming down here love that sonic pro looks fantastic this color now come here guys you can see we got the same type of uh, of course leather here on the armrest we got the piano black trim here aluminum on, the, on, on your handle here we have controls for your windows and mirrors as well as you can see you got speaker there and a little bit of sp space here to put your uh, bottle of water anything like that so coming in here guys you can see we got these are eight-way adjustable power seats uh obviously we got coming here a little more closer we got of course your leather steering wheel a bit of aluminum trim here as you can see that aluminum trim all around here really really nice the, the materials are this civic really honda has done a great job of uh, building the seats are really fantastic as well as you can see guys the leather seats are perforated they're heated as well both front seats here and the leather feels fantastic very soft really really nice the way this feels of course your steering wheel is side adjustable as well as fore and aft and of course you get this i love the little controls here for the civic it's really really nice as well what the sahana has done to the controls of this little uh ac outlets here so really really cool so of course again we got uh, basically your buttons for your parking sensors traction control and of course your lights here as well it's really really fantastic interior i mean this feels kind of more quality so it kind of gives a european vibe if this had a, like an audi badge on it this would definitely be worth more but uh really hazana has done a fantastic job of the way this interior is the quality of it you can really feel it all that really nice the way the layout is of course we got the surf bring a little more light in you get your both speakers you can see there all oh, this really feels fantastic i mean everything the quality of the touch just feels really nice i mean honda has done a really great job of being this even though this is you know it's a honda civic it's basically like a hatchback or a kano car really honda has done a great job of kind of making this feel kind of premium product uh really fantastic the way this honda feels so let's go ahead guys and start up the engine because it's quite hot today here in central florida we got that start of the summer it's quite impressed our start engine stop of course being the, the torn you get that engine stop as well uh everything lights up as you can see we got all our screens lighting up and I really love the way this feels interior low, always low cowl as a Honda's house. I've always had, uh, even considering my Integra Type R back in the day, had the same type of low cowl. Really, really, Honda has stick to that really nice and very easy to drive cars as well. Let's go ahead, guys, and see if we can hear this Honda engine, this 1.5 liter turbocharged engine. Very quiet, but very refined as well. You can hear a tiny bit of the turbo, but it's very quiet, very refined engine growl as well. Go ahead and close the door and get a little more quiet inside here. 
and get the AC cooling out a little bit because it is quite hot here today in Central Florida, as I mentioned. Let's start over here, guys. You can see we got the glove box, which got really, really nice size. Plenty nice, really nice. Really love what Honda has done here. We got a bit of a, of course, piano black trim. That's not my favorite, but it does well here as well. It's not a ton of them. It's very thin. Love this kind of comb kind of aluminum trim here that Honda had put on this. And I love the controls for the AC outlets. Really, really smart idea and looks well, really well laid out and well planned. Love the design of that. Of course, we got the trim here. Really nice. I mean, the quality of the material says I'm very impressed what Honda has done with the interior of this car. This is not filled by anything uh, like a it's basically a starter or a or a kind of a Kano car. This does not feel like it. Very, very, really nice premium feeling materials in the Civic. Of course, being the touring, this has got the top of the line of everything here. We got the nine inch screen here with Honda system. Of course, here we got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. We got Sunlight Radio. We got navigation, as you can see. We press the button here. We got navigation. Now, of course, that's loading up here. Things just a little bit, but here we go. We got the navigation going. Uh, we, spread, we touch this home screen. It goes back to the screen. As you can see, it's very easy to touch. Very, very. Uh, fast responding screen as you can see we got uh, usb navigation am all kinds of honda link oh, we got system upgrades general settings all kinds of things you can control navigation phone afm red series my two computer smartphone connection all the great things that this has i really love the way this one here is equipped with the nine inch screen as you can see guys usually a seven inch screen is normal this being a basically the top one here so you get a little more screen size as well you can see we got both speakers here this is equipped with a 12 speaker both system let's go ahead and go to our fm as he was playing is where we get a little bit of yeah this sounds fantastic very very good sounding system of course is the bow system now coming down here of course we got hatcher button here we got your controls for your ac which are all manual controls which are fantastic we got also seat heaters as well as you can see for front, both front seats no heated steering wheel but we got at least front heated seats now coming down here guys we got two usb connections a 12 volt connection of course we got the indications for your basically your passenger side off we do have a wireless phone connection here as well that's which you can turn on of course our cvt transmission here as you can see here we got a couple of cup holders we have basically drive motors as well we have just basic sport we got three of them we got sport we got normal and econ so basically full economy one we can take it in sport because that's the type of channel we are here we have basically your automatic engine start off button basically parking brake and of course a brake cold if you want to just take your foot off the brake while you're at resting at a stoplight that's a great button to have so now here we got a little more storage space as you can see no connections here whatsoever at all it looks like we have a little honda with a little bit of long here as you can see really interesting the way that is but plenty of space for storage really love the way this interior is laid out feels very comfortable very homey really really nice copy layout really proud of what really nice what hana has done now obviously coming up here guys of course we got the sunroof we got a bit of a sunglass holder here we got buttons here for your basically for your lights just kind of led lighting of course buttons for turning off on with, with the doors and of course we got a sun visor here with a, the with a mirror of course so. here in the middle we got a 10 inch screen here all digital screen we got a digital speedometer tachometer and all kinds of different really love this little thing here of course you can see you can scroll down to all the things you have here uh, navigation you get a you know of course passenger seating all kinds of you know engine oil life all kinds of car information which is really easy to get to you just tap the button and it goes inside and repress it really cool what Han has done there and of course coming here on this side you do the same thing but here we got phone information as you can see all that kind of information you can display here on the left side of the screen here which is really really cool really simple to do really nice you can see you got both control buttons here for your radio here and the buttons and all that kind of stuff really really interesting what Honda has done and uh fantastic layout of this information looks everything looks really nice and crisp love the way this all this is feels definitely a more modern car than an actual you know basically base car feels so like. coming so here really to the steering wheel feels really nice the lever feels fantastic it's not perfect but it feels really really nice in your fingers of course you got the pedals here in the back to change your cvt which it doesn't make sense because this doesn't actually have any gears it just kind of fix the gears but i guess it helps out at least in some sort of way i love to have to drop one of these in six speed manual which i think will be a great experience all right let's go ahead and uh, put our cvt transmission in reverse to check out the reverse camera so as you can see here we have our trajectory lines as you can see those turn and we do have sensors as well as you can see the sensors are on you can see all the front and the rear are going to come up uh, the, the, it's surprising that it's not detecting those are on the projectors they're not it's not detecting the basically the low sidewalk there but we do have basically a camera you can focus in a little harder or you can definitely switch it to the whole screen as well the camera quality is not the greatest it's not super clear uh say as for syncs or the Ford's camera that I've recently done, but it's got plenty of you know, it's got plenty of camera and it's really cool the way it is. And you get a camera and sensors as well, and it helps you out in the parking as well. As you can see, we got nighttime as well, and also different things you can do here for the cameras and the angles as well, point down. So, all right, guys, here's the camera. Let's go ahead, guys, and put this thing back on drive. Let me make sure we are on sport. Yes, we are on sport mode. 
and uh, let's go guys and get to drive i really just drove here basically for about half a mile so really haven't driven this is the first time really heading out on this 11th generation honda civic of course we got the 1.5 liter turbocharged engine on this girl and let's see how this drives and see how i love this way that turns last time i did that was in a ford f-350 and it took like basically turned like a school bus of course that's a huge truck but driving this honda civic this 11th generation for the first time man it feels really nice light such a small car which i love such a low cow you can you see the road in front of you really really love the way this uh, honda's always driven now of course as i mentioned i have driven i've been you know it's been honda's have been in my family for a long time ever since i started driving and of course i've owned acura integra gsr so i'm no uh, stranger to honda products and the vtec engines and let's go ahead and just get this way and see how this feels so so it's got good good torque i mean obviously you can feel the cvt but uh yeah this thing feels really nice and let's see i'm gonna just turn this thing wow yeah small this thing just really hangs on sharp yeah the steering is pretty decent good steering feedback i'm gonna close the the sunroof because i have it tilted i'm gonna close it just give it this little less wind noise um but wow this thing feels so light i mean it feels like a little go-kart you know compared to all the stuff i've been driving lately but wow this civic feels really nice refined good torque the torque this is nothing not something familiar you're used to with if you're driving old school hondas the torque down low is pretty nice and uh not, not, we are in sport mode so the gears are holding up a little bit higher and uh but the suspension is nice it's taut not punishing by any means so far uh but man this thing feels really nice very buttoned down sport meter there's no traffic let's go ahead and uh all right let's give it a little bit of punch here Yeah, it goes. It's got some good power. It's not slow by any means. You know, it's not a it's not an eco boost, but it got plenty of good boost, kind of good torque it has out there. The CV2 transmission is nice. It's very smooth. You can kind of it's kind of you know actually it's kind of imitating some changes, but it's not really not. But I'm not a fan of CVTs. But this Honda has really done a good job. You know, kind of making the thing smooth and not you know feel jerky or kind of wind, kind of like a whining rubbery feel to this transmission but that's why it sports more as well it is holding gears a little holding the gear a little bit higher whatever gear it is in so uh but this feels really good everything's well laid out in this civic i mean this navigation I mean, all the lcd screen looks fantastic especially this nine inch screen here is not very you know presentable really love the way it is the, the interior of the cockpit of this is really really nice i really love the civic the way this laid out and it goes it goes guys got this a good decent torque Oh, this thing just feels small and playful it gets up to speed pretty decently quick uh no slouch whatsoever and you can tell yeah the suspension is, is set up on a little bit on the stiffer side you can definitely feel the bumps and it's obviously it's a sports you know, version of it and of course it's gonna have a little more you know sports suspension on it it's a low sedan small you can definitely feel the lightness this car is about three thousand pounds in fact right three thousand fifty what honda has published that this thing weighs and it's handling is really nice i mean it's got a little bit of carving but it's not bad at all and you can feel the handling is nice very fun car tossable but then again if you want to just relax uh, there's a little bit of road noise but uh not bad at all pretty refined experience the steering wheel feels great in your hands and overall this ride is not perfect but you can feel a little bit of the imperfections uh, this is more the sports sedan you know nothing that's gonna cocoon you in a in silence but even the f-350 that i drove was a little bit quieter than this but obviously this is a different kind of animal you know this is a small sedan that's meant to you know now it's an econo car but because it does not feel like an econo car at all but uh, overall it's a very nice driving experience small car agile and it's very roomy as well the seats are very comfortable I like particularly uh, into leather, and especially in South Florida, but right now it feels fantastic. I wish they put cool seats in this, would be nice, but obviously that'll be a little bit more than what we're asking in this, you know, more starter sedans. But yeah, the brake, the brake feel feels nice, linear, really nice uh, progressive brake feel. And if we break hard, and yeah, it's got some good brakes. Everything fell down there, but uh, yeah, really like the really love the way this Honda Civic feels kind of just similar to Honda. What has no, they have really done? Nice. So obviously, Honda has yeah. really done one of their top of the game on this, this, this in their in their segment. And this thing goes really nice. I mean, this thing just handles really nice, feels planted. 
plenty of torque even though this car has got about 31,000 miles still everything feels really nice everything's well laid out not much they, they took care of this car as you can tell on the inside we're doing about 60 miles an hour and it feels nice let's put this back on and see if we can put it back on normal and that will relax the transmission so it'll be a little bit quieter not the reps hanging a little bit higher so really nice i mean obviously you're gonna get some nice full economy in this car if you're driving normally uh but man this thing feels planted if it handles well really really nice look at the steering was a little bit slower but man this thing you can tell a little bit of difference in steering as well there's a little bit of wind noise at higher speed at 60 you can definitely feel it or hear it but overall it's still a great little sedan i mean it's steering this thing feels just planted you can tell i'm playing here at about 60 it really feels good confidence is part of handling yeah this is this is the way the hondas are usually in this type of civic so let me know guys if you guys enjoy this type of content and enjoying this type of pov drive and reviews thank you so much for watching thank you all that have subscribed to my channel we have reached the 1000 subscribers guys thank you thank you so very much i'm very blessed thank you to each and one of you uh i'm getting better obviously getting more cars i'm sorry i've been kind of paused and recently i've been out with some family stuff and uh kind of spanked my knee so i haven't been able to do as many reviews in, on this few days so but uh hope you guys been enjoying this so far really nice i've been really impressed with this 11th generation honda civic i can't wait to get behind the wheel of the type r that's got to be a little beast of a car so uh but overall i really like this car very nice and refined playful just what a honda should be you know it's really really nice and uh wow well, impressed about the, the quality of this car the way it drives feels like a step up doesn't really feel like a like your base entry stand you know like a, a cono car really kind of far from that now, of course here we're coming to a stop i think we can let off no it's not i gotta engage the brake hold so the brake hold is gonna give you basically i can take off the uh my foot off the brake and it will actually hold on the gear um that's basically better than for example turning off the engine i really i really prefer the hold the auto hold than the engine off option on this car so i don't know just to me just kind of crazy that you need to turn it off engine on and off kind of says that you know if your starter goes you know that's going to go in your starter much quicker in my opinion i think so all you have to do is just press on the gas and you're ready to go and that auto hold will go off now we're here guys yeah this feels so good and just you know just put a little bit of this just goes really nice plenty of power in this step you can see it gets up to speed really easily very very fun yeah this is this is not slow by any means really nice of course if it was more people or cargo definitely it's gonna not feel quicker but by itself wow, it's a pretty impressive little car the way it goes and not a 180 horsepower is not a ton but it's got plenty of torque and that torque really helps out to get much better in terms of torque and the brakes yeah the brakes feel really good and of course this oh yeah this is just, oh this will be a fun car an autocross or modify just a little bit to take uh, it to the track suspension sure. is a little stiffer but i really like that it's not punished by any means but it lets you feel the road completely really done honda has done a really good job with this honda civic uh basically what i was expecting of this car nothing less and i love all these digital screens it feels really nice make the car feel modern uh you know up to up to date and uh everything's really easy to, to, to basically the the navigate the, the screen's really nice bright in the daytime wow really honda has done a fantastic job so the honda for of course guys this is a used car at barto ford at the, at the moment this car is still available here in barto ford um they're asking about thirty-three thousand dollars, which seems to be a tiny bit high in price considering the mileage if this had maybe 10 12 15 000 miles maybe so but let's go ahead and put the reverse camera guys against the park here as well as you can see the race camera's got some good graphics obviously and then you can definitely make that screen bigger there as but you can see now really guys fantastic car really love this car at all very impressed with it let me know what you guys think in the comments if you guys want one i really like it i can't wait to drive a civic type r and of course now we got the acra uh, integra type s that's coming up very soon as well so all right guys thank you so very much for watching thank you again to all that has subscribed i really appreciate it guys if you guys haven't done it guys please subscribe hit the bell leave me a comment let me know what this feels guys and uh, we'll see you guys on the next video take care bye bye